Alrighty, guys. It is Thursday, the 23rd of June. We're gonna be tackling Sprout of Hope by Invalid. Actually gonna play this track. Unlike yesterday, I was kind of... I was kind of hoping that I would play the track. I mean, I always enjoy playing these tracks of the day. And then after I lost power, I was like, oh darn, I... I'm unable to play. So unfortunately, we're... I missed yesterday, but... It's fine. We will continue. And just... Play this track. Got a nice grass track. So you know I'm gonna be... Enjoy... You know I'm gonna be... Enjoying it. And possibly sitting down some really insane times. Usually how it is. A lot of fog on the map. Someone busted out all the smoke machines. Oh god, I couldn't see that that was a drop down. I don't know how visible it was with uh, the fog everywhere. Probably want to jump where there's not a slow-mo, but I didn't think I was going to make it if I didn't go through the slow-mo, so... Here we are. Okay, that, that one's hard to do, but I think I just need to get the gear better. Okay. I do actually need to get the gear better. But on top of that, I need to get the line better. Of which I'm not doing. Okay. There we go. Oh, and then I crashed. Good. I think that's what you want. That sort of really tight line. You also don't want to lose the gear. hit that pole. Uh, I have my GPS off. Or, GP, yep, I have my GPS off. I have my ghost off. Let's get that back on. Mm, I shouldn't have gotten air there. Maybe a nice brake tap there. Just to keep myself on the inside. The speed I lose from a brake tap might be worth it if I'm going on a sort of bad trajectory. Because I want to be like clipping that. Clipping that like thing there. Being behind in the corner leads to bad stuff. I need to not get air there. Yeah, that little brake tab, I feel helped. I anticipate that a gear change was possibly anticipated. Mm, I'm not sure, actually. The reason I say that is because we were on normal track for a second there. Okay, I'm really bad at judging that. But that is not a difficult finish. I mean, I was going slow, but I don't think even as at speed that finish is that hard. I need to get the gear while going on that track. On that normal road. And then I would like... And I think a brake tap will help. I don't think that... Or, well... I think if I tried to not do the brake, brake tap, I'm gonna I'm gonna not get turned enough before I get get on the grass, and then while I'm on the grass, I'm gonna be spending a lot of the time recover or like just trying to turn, trying to to continue the turn, use the grip while I have it to 
go in as straight a line as possible on the grass. <laughs> so even though I'm tapping the brake, I don't think that it'll be that bad. Because I'll be take the benefit is I'll be taking a straighter line on the grass. Okay, that brake tap probably wasn't necessary. Didn't lose the gear. I need to be ready for that corner. I'm jumping straight and I shouldn't be. I need to remember that there is a, a rightward turn. I'm too high. Oh. Yeah, that's another thing. I need to make sure I'm not too high on that. This inside line helps with that. I'm gonna go down as soon as possible. A little bit of braking, just to keep the line away from going too much to the outside. Mm, this isn't good. Okay, we're fine. Bring it around. I'm gonna stay to the right there to not get any air and then we go into the finish with the aid of that wall thing okay top 12 a run like that getting top 12 instantly what I'm feeling is the possibility there might be some sort of cut. The only reason I say that is because I didn't feel like that run was that bad. For me to be that much behind just sets off like there might be a cut. I could be completely wrong and I probably am. There's a level of I guess what I know. I, I generally know what I can get throughout all stages ranking wise throughout all stages of my progression in learning the map. So for me to be at seven on a run that I feel is pretty good, just makes me wonder if there's like some sort of reroute or just a shortcut, you know? I'll have to watch the replays in a second. I thought there was a cut on the spooky ghost house track. The one track that looked like a Mario Kart map. I thought there was a cut on that when there wasn't. I'll be fine standing corrected again if that's the case, but it just tips me the wrong way. I am point four ahead at that point. Maybe I'm just missing some, you know, maybe Maybe I'm not where I'm I'm thinking, but maybe I just have a line that's utterly bad. Probably didn't need a break break tap there. Okay. Okay. I can't go too far to the right there. Mm, that gear sometimes is annoying. Because I feel like... I feel like even on the... Because it's not impossible to get a bad gear on road. It's not impossible. And I worry that I'm maybe getting a little of that. Okay, too far. 
too much steering. And then I crash into the wall. My immediate reaction is like, why is that wall there? Just let me get as close to it as I can. But it would, it would, it would still happen. I would just clip. Like you could put a wall. It, it just, it just makes me feel. The the wall around the track makes the track feel artificially tighter, even though it's kind of not. It's like the wall doesn't stop the the wall isn't stopping you from going any further off than you would if there was no wall because you'd still clip you'd still be slowed down so it's not like it's a big problem a little behind And he did stay really far to the right there. To get a good end where I'm like actually going into the finish line with some good speed, I need to I need to make sure that um, that I turn very late. Point four, or point three. It's exactly point three. I don't know why I said point four. Okay, there's, there's point four. <laughs> I just saw it happening. Still though, to get a time like that, what's the does the? This is where I want the GPS to show what the time is that the GPS got. Forty point two. That's 0.8 faster. Very far to the left, okay. I'll learn from that. Doesn't matter too much there, okay. Okay. I'll check the replays in a bit. My brain is still suspecting a cut. Though there probably isn't one. But seeing that the author time is 0.8 faster does make me think that, you know, at least, at least I should get some little bit of improvement on that before I go around claiming there's a cut. So he went really far to the left. Not as far to the left as I did, but really far to the left. And I understand why they're really far to the left. Makes sense. You want to cut it in so you can get really on the inside of that other one of this uphill. You can go in a more straight line. I just have to get a good line with it. I think that section is a big section that I'm going to have a lot of improvement to get. Okay, I missed it. You know what? I knew that I was missing that finish. Don't think back and don't cut back to moments ago whenever I was like, oh, that risky finish isn't that risky. It's not. It's really not. I knew full well that I was missing that. Okay. Oh, boop. 
Just because you knew that you were missing it, didn't you at least try to go into the finish? Yes, but... It was a... It was a... It was a slow run anyway. Oh, I flipped. Okay, don't do that. I mean, you might be able to get the gear once you go back on the grass. But you'd have to straighten out. You'd, you'd have to take a really weird line if you want to get that gear over the grass. You'd have to be trying for it. That's not something I'm trying for. I have more speed. Going very wide there slows me really like a ton down. With grass you want to be on the inside as much as possible. So you can, well, you want to be going in as straight a line as possible, and a lot of the times, the line through corners is to just go in a straight line, hitting as close to the inside of the apex of the corner as possible. Especially on those, like, banked to flat turn track pieces. If you're coming from banked and going to turn and the t and this is now getting extremely specific, but the banked to flat the banked to flat, or yeah, you're coming from banked, going to flat, grass transitions that are a turn, wherein you are coming from the banked side and you are going up to get to the flat, not down, up to get to the flat. Your car has a tendency, due to the way the track is kind of, you know, due to the way that gravity and momentum work, your, your car has a tendency to keep going in the direction it was going, which in this case is to the outside of the corner. And when you do that, it means that uh, you're having to turn more and lose more speed. So the closer to the inside you can stay, the actually, the like, if you can stay on the inside, it's actually like a lot better. It's not just a little better in those specific corners. Because even a little bit, even if you were to be a little bit further outside, your momentum pulls you out, pulls you out of the corner. This has been a rant on grass physics in Trackmania 2020. I make too much grass. I prefer playing grass maps, and I make too many grass maps that I'm, I'm just like uncannily knowledgeable about the deep intrinsic properties of grass and how to drive on it. checked replays yet because I don't think that I'm still skeptical that or I'm, there's still like a bit of a twinge in my brain that's like oh maybe there isn't actually a cut and maybe it's just me my time being not because there's point there's point eight to the author metal if there's point eight to the author metal I have to be 
maybe within 0.4 of it to be a good time. I'm not sure. Hitting that apex is the hardest thing. It's harder than the actual risky finish. Is hitting that apex. Where are we at? 20 minutes? Okay. If there is a shortcut, we're going to have to learn it soon. For the possibility of getting a better time with it in this video. Do a couple more runs without it, and we'll see. We'll take a look and see if I'm correct or incorrect. Honestly, I'm not sure of my own answer as of right now. I don't see any shortcuts, but... I, I can only see shortcuts some of the time. And honestly, there may not even be a shortcut. There's point three. Okay, it's coming down. That seems normal. <sighs> we'll watch it, but I now don't think that there's a shortcut. That's that's 40.3. But I don't I don't think that there's a shortcut now. I think it's just better driving. We'll see if I'm right. Getting air there. I want to believe that when you get when you get air there that that's a faster time. I don't want to believe it, but I don't think that there's actually a shortcut. Yeah, there's not. There's just Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. All that air time for a time that's point uh for a time that's 0.4 faster than my time. All that air, too. Gotta get that out of there. No, I don't know. That'll, I don't know if that'll happen. We've got seven minutes. Seven minutes on the clock to see if I can get out. I mean, the, he got air on that. On this transition. And because he got air, he was slower. And was able to take a much more inside line. I can achieve the same thing with like a brake tap strategically placed brake tab, to be fair, and maybe get something. Because I don't think the GPS had any airtime or brake tabs. I think it just had a solid line. There we go. I touched the penalty grass a little bit. It's unfortunate at best. But... We'll at least get exactly 0.4 off. Does that tie me? No, it doesn't. It makes me makes me number one. Here we go. We got we got the good time. We got the lines. I 
I did have a really good section there, right where I respawned. I got right up on the inside. Had a good approach as well. Yeah, you wanna... As much as it scares me, because you're very much at risk of getting air going up that little thing. You're very at risk going up, getting air, getting like launched back up. Like, right there, I got a tiny bit of air. But going that far to the left provides too much benefit to the rest of the corner that getting a little bit of air there is sort of worth it. I mean, it's probably worth it to get a little bit of air on all the parts that Jordy got air on in his run. It's just, I feel like you could do without that. Just having a, a line that keeps you on the ground. Specifically that transition, that banked transition from banking to the right to banking to the left. And then immediately into a banked turn to flat. That that specific turn can most can benefit the most from getting air, because where you wanna be is as close to the inside of the of the end of the banking transition as possible, and getting air slows you down, but it also lands you right on the inside where you're not going to lose a bunch of speed from actually doing the turn afterwards. Oh boy. Not a good gear, not at all. There we go. Oh, I clipped. The wall was put there so that you probably wouldn't clip and you just hit the wall. I mean, that the wall was probably the actual reason why that wall was put there. Decoration. Probably decoration. But the wall stops you from clipping and instead would just make you hit. And of course, I managed to thread the needle and go right after the wall disappeared and clip my wheel. Wow, that was close. Too far to the too far to the side, and I crashed. We're getting close to the end here. I have to only have a few runs left, but I do think we got a good time. I'm not disappointed in my time in any capacity. I clipped again. It's surprisingly easy, apparently. Did I crash into a pole? I'm trying to straighten out to... <laughs> My brain is telling me straighten out because the gear's gonna happen. But when I when I do that, what happens is, is I... I the reason the gear happens on the checkpoint block at all is because I'm basically speed sliding, which makes the gear happen sooner. When I straighten it out, the speed slide is canceled, and the gear happens around the normal time it would happen instead of instead of a little bit earlier due to a speed slide, and so the gear doesn't happen on the concrete, and instead happens right after on the grass where it's bad. I have to tell my brain, just don't worry about it. And, I mean, that's going to look like it's going to be it for today. Oh, yep. I will see you all tomorrow. We will tag whatever track happens to be the track of the day for Friday. Until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you all later.